Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's always, it's been a while. I had a crazy, crazy month of October. Uh, my cat got really, really sick. I think I touched upon that in my last video. He's still here with us. He ended up having to have a surgery. And since the surgery, he's had multiple complications. So he's still in recovery mode. I have to take him back to the vet this week. And I'm hoping that this week is the answer. And also, because he was super sick and recovering from surgery, he needed to be in a room by himself for a little while, and this is my spare room. So, unfortunately, this room was out of commission, and I have my lights and all of my setup in here, and I didn't really want to do all of that while he was recovering. So, But because he was recovering and because I was spending a ton of time at home with him, I was burning through a ton of candles and I'm literally looking at my table here and it is stacked full of empty candles. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's start small and work our way up. I finished these two diptyque fig candles. I actually found these at my local Home Goods. I know I cannot believe that I found diptyque candles at Home Goods. And let me tell you, Something has definitely changed with Diptyque over the years. The fragrances are just not what they used to be. They still smell the same, but when you burn them, they are super light, practically unscented. Now, I know I got these at a discount store. They were still over $50 a piece, but even genuine Diptyque candles that I purchase like at the boutiques don't perform. And I, I just don't understand for a price point of $74 a candle, they really should perform and they just have not. Plus the amount of residue on the candle is just like unacceptable. Now I know 100% soy wax does this, but these are paraffin candles. So there's no excuse why they should do it. And I know that they have changed because you see the wick clip in here. See how it's a little disc at the bottom? Years ago, it used to look like a little tree. It used to be like three metal prongs. And I feel like personally, all of those older Dipti candles performed really well. The ones with these new like classic wick clips on the bottom just do not perform for me at all and then the fig scent i swear changed it used to smell like a beautiful warm like fig tree like it's supposed to and now it smells like cat urine and believe me i'm very familiar with that fragrance and yeah i don't know i, I just don't understand what happened over the years but i don't know I'm not really interested in purchasing any Diptyque in the future. That might change, but for now, I have no more Diptyque in my collection. I sold off the rest of my collection, and these are the last ones that I had, so I finished those up. Oh, speaking of Diptyque, speaking of the biggest ripoff, these are their refillable candles. Now, I bought this when I was in Chicago last year, and it was like such an impulse purchase. I saw a ton of these online, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to get suckered into buying one of those, and I ended up getting suckered. So you buy the vessel, and it does come with a candle inside, and then once you're finished, you can repurchase the refills. I want to say this was some exorbitant amount, like 200 and some dollars. I loved the fragrance on cold. It was like this warm, smoky, I forget which one this even is. It doesn't say because it's a refillable jar, but it was like the darker green one. And I love the vessel, like the, la the lid, there's a little lip on the bottom so you can burn it like this. It says Diptyque all around the top there. It's a beautiful, beautiful candle but it performed like crap. This oval design, the wax never hit the edges. I'm actually gonna pop this in a uh, candle lamp to get the last bit out of, of fragrance out of it. Now, the performance, the strength and throw was great. Every time I lit this candle, I could genuinely smell it in the space. It is a little bit of a bigger a bigger fragrance um, like opening than the other ones. So yes, I could genuinely smell it. It's a very strong scent, but the burn quality was just absolutely terrible on this. And for a 200 and some dollar candle, it should perform a lot better than that. So I was not 
super impressed with that. Um, speaking of other brands, now these are, let's stick with higher end. I finished the Wen by Chaz Dean candle in Tuscan Pear. I love the Wen candles, you know. I visited the Chaz Dean salon in May of this year in New York City. I absolutely love the, the line Wen, love his fragrances, Chaz Dean, and he does luxury candles. Now, these are really, really big candles. Like, compared to a Bath & Body Works opening, like, they are some big candles. Like, it could literally fit inside and still have some room. So there is a nice fragrance window in here. Now, they retail for $75. I do not purchase them full price. The WEN website has sales all the time. I actually just placed an order in October, towards the end of October. They had half-off candles all month. So I actually purchased a few of those. And I will be filming a video with you whenever those arrive but yeah so i really really like his candles they are a soy paraffin and coconut wax blend candle but they perform super well they burn all the way down and this is in tuscan pear this fall tuscan pear fragrance i actually have in the eau de parfum as well and anytime i wear it it is just crisp and fresh and those days where there's some fall mornings or fall days where it's really crispy, really cold out. And then there's some days where it's a little bit warmer. And when you're not necessarily wanting like a rich pumpkin or a honey or a vanilla, but you want something fresh and crisp, this is perfect for that. Because this, this pear is just crisp, it's fresh, it's clean. And his candles, I have never had an issue with the burn. I've never had an issue with the strength and throw. $75 retail, again, always buy them when they're on sale, but they perform so well for me. And they have about a 65 hour burn time. And I actually stuck this under the candle lamp after it extinguished itself so I could extract every ounce of fragrance out of it. It performed so well out all the way down to the last drop. Next, let's see. Let's talk about my friend Melissa over at 1820 Company. This is a local Ohio-based candle company. Love her fragrances. Love her candles. And this is an apple dumpling. Oh, man, this is yummy. She's 100% vegetable wax. Love her fragrances. Love the burns. And I just think her jars are super simple, super classic. Always white wax. Go with every decor. And they always burn beautifully. And always have a perfect strength and throw. They never hit you over the head, super offensive, like, you know, throw you out of the room. But there's always that background scent going when they're lit, which is perfect. And this apple dumpling is so yummy. You get that rich doughiness from the dumpling. And then that fresh fried cinnamon sugar apple. Mm, so yummy. Definitely would repurchase that one. And then I just finished Harvest Moon, which I don't remember the notes in here. It smells like, like a cranberry, pumpkin, apple type of blend, but it has a little bit of a warm, like a fireside type of note, like a clove. It's really, really pretty. Now, this is her medium jar, or this is her small jar. This is her medium jar. I typically go with the mediums, but for whatever reason, I picked up a couple smalls when I was there. I need to go in and get some more holiday fragrances from her because I love to have a stash and I only have a few left. I'm getting low. So definitely want to purchase some more 1820 Company candles in the future. I'll link her website down below. I'm not affiliated with her, just a huge fan. Definitely give them a try. Now, I also finished some one-offs. I finished from Matt Matthews. I really love his candles, 100% soy wax. Right idea, wrong bitch. And this is cardamom and cream. He's also 100% soy wax, non-toxic, phthalate free, etc. And every candle that he has performs really well for me for the most part. And this was just a really creamy, rich, like smoky vanilla. I had this going in the background a lot. And I just love a white soy wax candle when they burn. And his candles, again, burn clean all the way down. No issues. Really love the way that they perform. So I finished that one. Oh, I forgot. I finished another one from 1820 Company. This is in her B Elixirs line, which is a little bit more of a natural based. And this is Palo Santo and Pumpkin. Oh, I loved this. This is Palo Santo, Cedar, Ash, Cassia, and Pumpkin Rind. You have that woodiness of the Palo Santo, but it's like a fresh, that perfumey fresh Palo Santo, not overly smoky. 
mixed with the warmth of the cedarwood and the pumpkin. This I burned exclusively in my bedroom for the entire duration, and I loved it. Would repurchase it definitely next year. Love her Palo Santo and pumpkin. Such a great fragrance. All right. Next, I finished Apple Pumpkin from Yankee Candle. This was like such a random impulse at Target that was on sale or had a coupon or something. And I love Apple Pumpkin from Yankee. Like, if you had the choice between Yankee's Apple Pumpkin and Bath and Body Works Pumpkin Apple, Yankee every day. I love the way this combination smells. It's a warm, warm pumpkin and like a stewed apple almost. I feel like the Bath and Body Works one has an odd note to it that I just cannot get behind. But this apple pumpkin from Yankee is a five-star scent. I love it. The strength and throw, I could like a little bit more, but I did like to pick it up. It did burn pretty pretty well for the most part. It did get puny wicks towards the end, which I just let extinguish itself after that. But yeah, I love the fragrance, like a stewed apple and warm pumpkin fragrance. It's a classic, been around for many years. Definitely give that a try. I finished Pumpkin Bonfire from Bath and Body Works. I think I had like an $11 three wick candle, which is why I picked it up. And I was dog sitting for a friend and I just wanted to have like a nice aroma going. So I picked this one up. It was actually really pretty because all of these leaves here are luminary. So it actually like lit through the candle when it was lit. It did develop puny wicks just like Bath and Body Works candles do, but I love the fragrance pumpkin bonfire. It's white pumpkin, a bundle of clove buds and glowing embers. Oh, it's just warm and comforting and roasty and fiery. I love that roasted fire fragrance. Oh, and mixed with a pumpkin. This is classic. It's a little masculine, a little warm, but oh boy, Pumpkin Bonfire is a 10 out of 10. I love that fragrance. Uh, another Bath and Body Works, as you see, it definitely lived its life in the candle crock. This is Roasted Sesame from the, um, what was this? This was from one of the, I think the Hispanic Heritage Collection. I can't exactly remember, but this smells just like Pumpkin Peanut Brittle from years ago, which is why I picked it up. The notes are roasted sesame, toasted hazelnut, and sweet maple. You can see I put it in the candle crock because, yeah, it literally got puny wax like three quarters of the way in or three quarters of the way left. So I was like, nope, it's just going to go in the crock. And it lived in my laundry room and it smelled like pumpkin peanut brittle or roasted sesame to me smells like a Ritz cracker with peanut butter. A really salty or like a saltine cracker almost. It has that salty, crisp cracker with that like peanut butter spread. It was really, really great. I love the fragrance and I just didn't feel like burning it because of the performance. So I stuck it in my candle crock. Now, speaking of candle crocks, I also stuck praline buttercream from Kringle Candle in the candle crock. It I did not burn a lot of this, and every time I burned it, it just smelled burnt. It just smelled genuinely burnt. And a lot of the Kringle candles that are like this, like, maple sweet, buttery, I know Katie over on Katie's Joyful Life also talks about that. Not really sure what it is. It doesn't smell like it now, because I just ended up sticking the entire thing in the crock. Um, and just extinguish the fragrance. I literally had this going for like two weeks straight in the crock in my laundry room. My laundry room's not a big space, so every time I walked in there, I got a whiff of this like salty, sweet cream fragrance. And I like the scent a lot. The performance just leaves a lot to be desired. So I did, um, not impressed with the burn on this one. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, but again, that does not mean that I don't leave honest reviews. So I finished this one. I finished from Country Candle. I loved this. This is white birch and rain. It did get a little sooty. These jars genuinely do towards the end, but oh, I loved this. I did not think I was going to like this fragrance. Herbal Cool Eucalyptus Lavender Musk and Mint. I burned this. We had a couple, like a week of really cool rainy weather, and this was absolutely perfect for that in my bedroom. It has that mintiness, like that fresh, crisp mint with a little bit of the eucalyptus and that white birch. I don't know what it is about this set. I would never pick this up, like just thinking about it or reading the notes, but I ordered this. Ambassadors could have got a pre-order for the fall. That's how I got this one too. 
and I just ordered the, all of them. I just got it in a medium just to see what it was like. Highly recommend. If this is in the wax melts, which I think it is, I think this would be a nice background fragrance, you know, on those cool rainy days to give it a try. Highly recommend. Really, really like this one. I finished from Candles by Victoria. This is Granny's Going Pink, which is a custom that I did of her Granny's Pie Crust, which I adore, and Pink Sugar. Yeah, and uh, because I have had from vendors like a Pink Sugar Pie Crust fragrance, and this did not disappoint. This is in her Three Wick Bowl Candle. It performed really, really well for me all the way down. And this has this giant opening, so the strength and throw was incredible. I'm actually burning a Candles by Victoria two wick right now here in flannel i actually have the flannel wallflower from bath and body works going in my office here too my camera cut me off all right so i was saying that flannel um i have the flannel wallflower and the flannel candle going in here so it's smelling really really great in here now as far as the kringle halloween candles go i'm trying to work through them I, I'm done for the year. I'm like over Halloween. I just don't love the Kringle Halloween classic candles. I loved the varieties that they did on them this year, but as far as the ones from years before, just not a huge fan. I finished Coffin Rock. They all just smell like these like smoky white florals. Halloween month was pretty warm here, so I had the windows open for a lot of the time, and I literally just let the candles burn by a window to just let the scent go away. I Is it wasteful? I don't know. Like, the scents aren't terrible. They're just not ones I would ever, ever buy myself. You know what I mean? And this is Apparition, same type of deal. I like that cutesy fun Halloween. And this is just too spooky and earth for me. Like, I like a good earthy green fresh scent, but this smells like dirt. It smells like they literally went into the earth. So not a fan of this one either. Um, ha oh, this is not Halloween. I did Halloween. I actually liked this one, which is shocking because there's like star anise in here, like a licorice type of scent. I didn't really find that. I mean, it just smelled like a good, sweet type of scent, if that makes any sense. So I actually enjoyed this one. I did this one in my bedroom. But the winning combo, burn-wise, mm, scent-wise, I did Bonfire and Heartwood. This is part of the Reserve line. Now, these guys, listen, they're flamethrowers. This picture here looked like the flames after two hours. I don't really understand. The notes on Bonfire are wood, pepper, cardamom, ginger, amber, and fir. I love this fragrance, though. I absolutely love this fragrance. It is it is warm. It is fall. It is winter. It is like if you were designing a cologne that's inspired by a bonfire. So it doesn't smell like you stuck your head in a bonfire, but it has that sweet, that warm, that comforting type of smell with a little bit of the sweet smokiness. Really, really liked this. But again, after like two hours, the flames were massive and I had to extinguish it because I did not want an entirely black ceiling after burning these ones. And same with Heartwood. Now these two also, I think they would make great like men's like dad, uncle, cousin, coworker Christmas gifts for the holidays. Maybe I'll do like a men's candle gift guide, like candles to buy your man for Christmas. I think that would be really fun. But this is definitely an, one of those. For one, the label gives masculine, it's giving Home Depot. But I really like the scent. It's sandalwood, green, sage, spice, patchouli, and amber. And I know Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, was also talking about how, how much she liked it. It has much more of a sweet, smooth, fresh wood type of scent. This was great in combination with the bonfire because I feel like they both balance each other out. I did one in my dining room and one in my living room. And together, the combination was just really, really great. It was genuinely an enjoyable time burning them. Again, besides being flamethrowers. Now, I did want to discuss the four wick candle. I made a little uh, YouTube short about it, but I did not get to talk just too much about it. Kringle did launch four wick candles. These are massive, you guys, and I mean massive. I am obsessed 
with the lid. It has the K and says Kringle on it. It's a genuinely nice, thick glass lid for Wix. And they did send all of the ambassadors one to review. And I picked apple cider donut. Love the fragrance. Now look at the burn. Okay, full disclosure. The first couple burns were great. About the mid-range, the two burns were really, really puny wicks, okay? They were pretty puny wicks. I did not trim them after because they barely, like, did anything mushroom top-wise. But I continued to let it burn. I didn't absorb any wax. I didn't dump any wax. And the last next two burns is burning really great. It's not discolored. I did end up trimming the wicks a little bit. So this is ready to go for the next burn. So just be aware... I'm not sure it's going to happen with all of them, but it did happen on this one, and I got really nervous. I actually messaged my friend Katie here on YouTube. I was like, oh, no, I hope this isn't, like, a fail. I want these four wicks to be perfect, and let me tell you, it's pretty good. I'm really impressed, and the strength and throw is so great on this. It performs so well. You get that really rich. I've talked about how much I love the scent, too. And in the four wick, it's just amplified. It's rich. It's sweet. You have that fried dough from the donut. You have the the fresh, crisp apple from the apple saw or the apple cider. The cinnamon sugar. Really, really love it. So I wanted to give you a little update on this one. And let me grab you my new edition. I behaved and only got myself one because I do have five of the two wicks in my collection. <gasps> Jelly donut in a four wick. This is something that we've been manifesting forever since the four wick was talked about. Are we going to do reserve? Are we going to do reserve jelly donut? Because this is genuinely the best candle in the world. Look at this in the reserve line. Now, the reserve four wicks are $50. So the regular reserve or the regular four wicks are $45. These are $50. But I mean, let me tell you, they are huge. They are huge, guys. So they're a little bit shorter, but I mean, they are so much wider. It's insane. And Jelly Donut, <gasps> the best scent ever. It's pastry, fruit, raspberry, blackberry, citrus, butter, and vanilla. And look at this four wick. I actually bought one of these for my aunt and gave it to her last week when it came in. And she said she's been burning it in her living room and she has an apartment and it's a pretty big size. And let me tell you, she said it is strength and throw incredible knocking her out. It is so strong. So I have no problem believing that this is going to perform so well for me. So right now she's just going to sit and get super juicy and strong. I have five regular candles from Jelly Donut that I'm going to start burning as well because now I feel like I don't have to hoard it because I have a ton of it. I love Jelly Donut so, so, so much. Now, let's dive into uh, the other things that I used up this week. I didn't use up too, too much. Um, when I was decorating for Christmas, I found this brick from last year from Scentsy in Cozy Kitchen. There was one cube left. I could not believe I put one cube away for an entire year. This sat in my stash for a whole year with one cube left. I popped that sucker in the warmer so fast. I did it in a mini warmer. I have the Merry and Bright little mini warmer on my microwave on like a tear tray. Super, super cute with some Christmas trees. And I popped that cube in there. And it's just a nice, sweet background scent. This is like, like a maple butter, cardamom, cinnamon, nutmeg. Like it's like cozy kitchen. It's all those spices in a kitchen with some butter and maple. It just smells like a nice, warm background scent. I did not purchase any Scentsy Fall and Winter wax this year, and I feel really great about it. I just don't reach for my wax as much as I do candles lately, and I have a ton of candles, so I've just been not purchasing, and it feels good to use up some of my stash. I finished, speaking of stash, three of my Frightfully Delightful bars from the Scentsy Disney collect collection. <gasps> This is great. This is Peaches and Pumpkins. Now, I've said before, I think, when I hauled this, there used to be a candle brand. It's not around anymore. 
they sort of had a resurgence. Someone took over the brand or something like that. I ordered one. They are not the same. I, I don't even understand how they can call themselves the same. They're not. Gold Canyon. Gold Canyon used to have incredible performing candles, and they had a peaches and pumpkins, which is something that I never saw before. And I really liked the combo. So when I saw Sensi did a peaches and pumpkins with Frightfully Delightful when they did the Mickey head warmer, which I do have, it's so cute. I was so into it. And let me tell you, I love this. It has the sweetness of the peach, that juicy fruit, and then it has that warm comfortingness of the pumpkin. I really, really like it. Definitely would repurchase this. It is a great, great scent. Next is Everything Nice. This was part of Bring Back My Bar a while ago. I don't love this like I thought I would. It has that pumpkin note, like the fresh jack-o'-lantern you scoop out with your hand. And it's that like, slim, not slimy, but like, you know what I mean? The fleshy pumpkin. But it's mixed with like the spices, and I prefer the fresh pumpkin note mixed with marshmallow in Scentsy's Pumpkin Marshmallow. So definitely prefer Pumpkin Marshmallow from Scentsy. I hope that comes back sometime. I did Vanilla Bean Buttercream. I actually did that in here once I changed on all my warmers, and I was super impressed. I did not think I would love this as much as I did, but it is. It's just a sweet buttercream vanilla fragrance. So really like that. A good background scent. I did go to New York in October, and when I go to New York, I always bring pods. I did Bonfire Beach in the room itself, which is like a salty, sweet, um, sea salty air with a little bit of sweetness from marshmallow. And then I did Province Lavender in the bathroom, which is like a true, like, rich, deep French lavender. So this was really nice. Gave some spa vibes. I finished the Blue Grotto Bathroom Cleaner. This was okay. I don't love the Scentsy Bathroom Cleaner. I think it's a little messy, but I did finish that. I finished the finished the cleanser from Prequel, the facial cleanser. This is a glycerin-based cleanser from Sam Ellis, who is a board-certified dermatologist on TikTok. Really, really love her. Love this cleanser. It's really affordable, lasts forever. I actually decanted some of it in a smaller silicone container to bring when I travel, and I still have a little bit left in that, so it lasts a long time. You use one pump, and it does your whole face and your neck, and it just leaves your skin feeling super soft and comforted, so really, really impressed with that. I would repurchase it. I finished a pumpkin pecan waffles gel soap from Bath & Body Works, maple stirrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. If you know, you know, I love this scent, and I prefer it in hand soap versus candles. The candles smell a little burnt to me. I finished the When by Chaz Dean Spring Honey Lilac Ultra Nourishing Intensive Body Treatment. I know it's not spring, but I had such a little bit left in the jar, I just decided to finish it up. This is a body cream enriched with vitamin K and arnica. There's shea butter, cocoa butter, or coconut. I mean, there's so many ingredients in here. Vitamin A, vitamin E, everything. This makes your skin feel so soft, so nourished, so hydrated. I alternate between this and the Beekman body cream because I love them both for different reasons. Love Beekman, but I love the Wen body cream. This is pretty pricey. It's $160 for this 16 ounce container. However, I get them on QVC for a duo for like 55. So Always buy your when on QVC unless they have a good sale on their website. Next, I finished, speaking of when, this is his Bella Spirit line, which is the Indigo Toning Treatment Mousse. This is just a lot more treatment-based, and it has that indigo hue to it. So after I cleanse and add my styling cream, I use this mousse, and it helps to tone my, my hair. It's incredible. When I was super silver, it really just made everything pop. No yellowness, no brassiness. It was pretty incredible. I finished a couple wallflowers. I finished flannel. Well, I just put flannel actually in my office here. I talked about that. I love flannel. Cherry almond shortbread. I don't like that in the wallflower. I thought I would. I don't like it. I actually just finished it the other day in my downstairs and I switched it to cranberry and gala apple, which I do really enjoy. And, and now my bin is empty. Thank you for a crazy Whirlwind empties, I promise it will not be this long whenever I film another video. Just been a crazy, crazy month, you know, 
I'm just glad my cat is doing better. Thank you to everyone who I posted on Instagram about him, gave me all your thoughts. It's made me feel really good and it made him feel really good too. Lots of love. So as always, make it a better world. Be kind, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Love you. Bye.